Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing two different type of West Elm rugs. When I was shopping for rugs online, it was really hard to get a sense of what these rugs would look like in real life based off the pictures that would be on the West Elm website because you don't know with your lighting, the way your place is structured, like what these rugs would actually look like. And I couldn't find any videos on YouTube in terms of people showing the rugs. So I want to at least put something out there in case someone is considering buying any of these rugs from West Elm for you to see what they actually look like in someone's home. So the first rug that I'm going to show you is called Lumi. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing these names, which I probably am, but it's spelled L-U-M-I-N-I. I got it in a nine by 12 for my living room and a five by eight for my dining room. So I will go ahead and show you the dining room rug first. So this is my dining room area. This rug size is a five by eight. It's in the color driftwood. Now, one thing I will say about all the rugs that I've gotten from West Elm is they're made of wool and I didn't know this, but wool sheds and I'm talking like a lot. Now, apparently three to six months from now, the shedding is supposed to significantly decrease, but it sheds like it will be all over your clothes, all over your hair, all over your furniture. Like it, it, it will, and it will visibly see the shed in. So they do recommend that you vacuum wool rugs every single week to help reduce the shed in. So I did go ahead and buy a vacuum. I didn't think I would need a vacuum because as you can see, I have hardwood floors, but I had to go ahead and buy a vacuum. That's how much these rugs were shed in. And I did my first vacuum session today and I'll continue to vacuum them every week as it's highlighted on the care instructions because the shedding is a lot. So again, this is the Lumini 5x8 in the color Driftwood. I did order my dining table and chairs from West Elm as well. So once that comes in, I'll do a review, but the rugs came in. And also I did get the premium rug pad under each of the rugs. So just so you see, there's the rug pad there. All right, let's move on to the nine by 12 in the Alice Baster. This is the lighter color. As you can see right now, my couch is a blow up king size bed because I'm waiting for my couch from West Elm to come through. I'll do that review once it shows up. But overall, I would say the rugs look really good. They feel good on the feet as well. So I'm very happy with the purchase. They were really expensive. This one I believe was like $1,200. This one was probably like 700. So they're definitely not cheap rugs, but this is what they look like. And now if we head into my bedroom, we'll see the Shale Stryton. I got this one in an eight by 10 in the color Warm Neutral. It's under my bed that's from West Elm. This is the Ida Woven Bed. But this is what, again, the Shale Stratton, S-H-A-L-E-S-T-R-I-A-T-I-O-N, 8 by 10 in the warm neutral. All right, I hope this video was able to help someone as they're doing their rug shopping, specifically from West Elm. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.